it's not whether he gets knocked down, it's whether he gets up. I am born to win and now I have won. My name is Damlola John Akindele and this is my story. Dami Lola, a 26 years old graduate of Agricultural Economics and Extension, the first of a family of four. His mother, a practicing nurse for over 30 years, and his father, a part time politician. Dami Lola is also an organist in his church, just like any other regular Nigerian family. During a church service, he felt a sharp pain underneath his lower abdomen and was later diagnosed with a rare condition called hepatic arteriopoda fistula, which is an abnormal connection between the artery in the liver called the hepatic artery and the vein in the liver called portal vein, which is the vein that carries blood outside of the liver. What was unique about this is that he had a, an abnormal connection between the hepatic artery and the portal vein. The hepatic artery formed an aneurysm at this point, which joins the portal vein here and basically dumps arterial blood pressure into the portal vein. The whole issue started from January ending, and it led up to almost five months to six months. Because this kind of sickness had never, even since I was working as a nurse, past 30 years, I don't think I see this kind of sickness before. If I'm sick, I'm sick for like three days, four days, at most five, I'm okay. Starting from my youth. So I told her that this thing is not a normal thing. She told my dad and they were like, okay. She was going to take me to her hospital the next day. So she did that. She took me to the hospital. The doctor examined me, looked at my stomach and all and all. So they said we had to do some tests and all. So we went for the test the first day. They said there was nothing wrong with me, that my stomach was okay. On the third or fourth day at the hospital, I woke up around 10 at night. I told my mom that I want to go and urinate. I've not said the word urinate finish. I told her I want to spit out. So she got the ball for me, the bowl for me. So for me to be spitting out, I was now vomiting blood. I just blacked out. That's all I could remember. So when I came back to my senses, when I woke up, I just knew that my leg was up. I was excreting blood. I was vomiting blood. They are already passing, passing blood inside me and all and all. So that's the first time I experienced that. All of the stomach is very vascularized, which is why it was bleeding so much. And all of the vessels that carried blood to the liver and the organs in the right upper quadrant, which is this area, were hypertrophied, meaning they were really large. For several months, he vomits blood and excretes blood, also moving him from one hospital to another without any improvement. He had a very rare disease, one that is seen most likely uh, one in less than a million people, especially when they present this spontaneous. He had a condition called uh, pre-hepatic or pre-sinusoidal portal hypertension. This is the first case that has been very well documented and treated successfully using endovascular techniques in Nigeria. March 2020, the federal government of Nigeria imposed a total lockdown due to the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. Getting drugs, adequate health care became a major issue because of the restriction of movement and panics in most government-owned hospitals in Nigeria and was later transferred to the men's emergency ward because he's always on adult diapers all day. I was not at the men's ward. They now say I shouldn't eat. Because of the blood I was passing out and the blood I was taking in, I shouldn't eat for like a week or two. I was like, Mom, what is happening? I'm not going to eat. I was not getting lean and everything. I could never take water and everything. I had to be begging my mom that she should give me a drop of water. The only recommendation that had been made to him prior to our intervention was that he traveled to India at the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. Sir, Ma, this guy is going to India. If he's not India, he's going to US. If he's not US, he's going to um, Israel. That is his liver that has problem. That one of my parents will drop their, um, they will give me half of the liver. That they transplant. They transplant and give me half. 
this, this, this. There's three people that will go there. You can't be looking for millions. They even said that we cannot even go in this pandemic period. They have to wait until everything goes on with the issue I'm having. It was only fortunate that one of the doctors he met knew about Dr. Hamed's service and recommended that he come to our clinic and they put a call to him to book an appointment. He got to Mr. Oliemi's place. So he was trying to consult us. He said we should bring those reports that we've had before. So on getting to his place, he was now checking out the reports, he was looking at everything, he stopped at up some points, now looked at this. It was at the ending of the report. Then I wrote liver, no issue. Liver, no issue. And I said it was one sh shunt that was blocking the flow of those um, foods and everything to the liver that is making the liver weak. So immediately just called Dr. Ninolowo, Dr. Ahmed Ninolowo. I just call him my doctor now. Just called him immediately that there's this patient, so, 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 so. He's coming, so, 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 so. You have to attend to him, so, 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 so. They will call you this, call you that. Dr. Hamed Ninalowu, consultant vascular, interventional radiologist and interventional oncology, and the founder and CEO of IR Doc Nigeria, also founder of Kolawole Interventional Radiology Foundation in Nigeria. The field of vascular and interventional radiology involves using minimally invasive techniques to treat diseases, uh, using CT scans, fluoroscopy, and angio suites. Unfortunately, this is a field that's not been present in Nigeria, and Nigerian patients have not had uh, the luxury of having the same care that our Western world patients have, which is why we had a dream of uh, bringing interventional radiology uh, to Nigeria at a complex level. I moved my practice from Pennsylvania, uh, USA, to Nigeria um, in September of 2019. And since then, we've performed a lot of interventional radiology procedures. At the same time, we started the Interventional Radiology Foundation of Nigeria called the Kola Wale Interventional Radiology uh, Foundation, named after my father. Uh, the goal of the foundation is to provide care to patients who cannot otherwise afford it, uh, because we believe that most people or everyone should have access to interventional radiology care. We do focus the foundation on providing care for patients who have diseases that are life-altering and we know that if we do not provide care for those patients, it might uh, be otherwise their demise. On the day of the appointment, Damilola was in another critical condition, so they had to stabilize him before taking him to Dr. Hamed Ninolowu at the Eurocare Multi-Specialist Hospital. He said she come on a Monday, on a Monday around, was it June, May, June or something like that? He said she come on a Monday. So on a Sunday, before then, I had this issue again. I could not, I wanted to urinate. So I just noticed that I was passing out blood, I was urinating, I was vibrating. And my brother came inside there, I said, he should call my mom and this, 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 this. All I could remember was that he backed me and he dropped me inside the car. I just knew the car went, they drove. The hospital charged a sum of 2.5 million naira for the procedure, which the family could not afford at that moment. A good Samaritan heard about the case and made a deposit of one million naira so he could be admitted. Few minutes to the surgery, an unexpected event happened, but Dr. Hamed Ninolewu and his team were up to the task. Um, um, interestingly, the morning of his procedure, uh, ju just about uh, the time we were able to, uh, about to get him into the cat lab, he had a significant amount of bleeding. We had to resuscitate him, but got him into the cat lab very fast and where it was able to shut off that abnormal connection between the artery and the vein. They said I shouldn't eat in the morning because of the operation. So the doctor came in, the foreign doctor came in. He wanted to take me to the theater. So he was now asking me, Do you want, should I put you on a stretcher or on a wheelchair? I said, don't worry, we can just use the wheelchair. And that was good. So immediately they just, they just took me up and dropped me on a wheelchair, I was blacked out. All I could remember was that when I, wake, uh, when I woke up, I just saw Dr. Nino, uh, Nino Lugo was already taking care of me with the doctors. They were like, damn Lola, are you back? Are you okay now? I did this, I did that. And that took me to the theater and everything and everything. After they now told me that, um, so, so Foundation took care of this and that and this. I was very grateful, I was like, ah. Someone paid one million for me on Monday. On Wednesday, your foundation took care of the rest. 
that which type of God am I serving? The procedure went well without any issue due to Dr. Hamid's expertise. Uh, he's done incredibly well since then um, and has recovered very well. He's now at home uh, doing very well. Even the foundation as well, we thank them for their support, their assistance. In all in all, Shah, we are happy that they helped. We are happy that he's fine. We are happy that we, don't, we didn't have to, because he got to a time when that was going to sell the house. He already um, took the cars outside and was going to sell because he had spent a lot. We were already thinking of going to India and all of those things, looking for somebody that's going to donate. Even though his mother still lives in fear, but Dr. Hamed Ninolewu still checks up on Tamilola and have assured her he's in perfect condition. Kolawole Interventional Foundation have provided different interventional radiology to Nigerians who can't afford it and saving lots of lives, championed by Dr. Hamed Ninolewu with his professional services.